Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday morning. February 4th, 2025 is a date. 1026 a.m. That's California time here where it's uh, nice and rainy. Got uh, a couple inches of rain here headed towards my area throughout the day today and tomorrow. Uh, latest activity here on the earthquake 3D globe shows uh, some movement with a 2.9 into Southern California. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick, see what we have. Looks like this 2.9 off of the um, Calaveras Fault Zone. It's an extensional boundary here off the, the San Andreas Fault. That earthquake coming in. Looks like about 15 minutes or so ago. Um, not seeing it really show up there across the seismograph stations. There's a couple there in China Lake. One coming in in Barrett right now. Uh, so a little bit of movement out here across Southern California. We'll get to this here in just a minute. I do want to cover the activity out across the Greece area. Got uh, one of the larger earthquakes so far in the sequence of events today with a 5.3 earthquake striking this area around the Santorini region early this morning. This is going to be my time here, so I'm not going to do the math on their time, but it's recent here within the last five hours. So this is definitely remaining elevated in terms of the earthquake activity out here and again the largest magnitude this 5.3 this morning here around the uh, just outside the santorini area around the colombo uh, volcano area and i was looking at uh the seismograph stations out here this is a uh, a graph just showing all the earthquake activity it's a it's a mess of earthquakes let me tell you number of earthquakes out there in the last 24 hours and uh, you know some of them are getting up there in terms of the magnitude level there's uh the clustering that's going on a little bit of migration here towards the santorini volcano that's you know something we're going to have to watch as well um that's at 5.3 that's a little bit further south here striking about 10 kilometers deep but south of our main swarming area if you note that 5.3 down here looks like that migration trying to work its way in between these two areas so uh, i still think this is along the lines of volcanic activity instead of just plate tectonics or fault systems at play um but we'll have to watch that got to continue to watch it there's no uh change there across the area in terms of volcanic statuses uh, still sitting at a level two for the um santorini area let me see here real quick um go back over here uh, where's our stories at nothing new from these folks today but let me pull up the uh latest map here See that uh, volcano there in the yellow. Colombo vo volcano there in uh, stage two, meaning unrest. That was last update. It looks like the 21st. Santorini volcano updated uh, today. That's sitting at a level two as well. But uh, no new information here to report. Uh, from that uh, ongoing earthquake swarm no you know far as like any eruption going on here but uh, it could happen like i say it could happen at any given time we could see a escalated event that could lead up to an eruption let me see go back here to this station Current live seismograph station there. Um, hard to say if it's picking up any earthquake activity right now. And there may be some smaller ones that's uh, coming into the mix there. But uh, either way, definitely got a pretty good uptick of earthquake activity happening here. That 4.9 earthquake coming in, that was from yesterday it looks like. Watch this uh, southern migration here. There's actually some movement across the Santorini area, underneath the Santorini area as well. Uh, that stirred up in the last couple days. I 
Let's see what the EMSC model here is reporting in the last hour. The purple, purple dots there on the map. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at the list here. See what we have. Looks like 3.3 is going to be one of the latest about 22 minutes ago. And uh, just there's, you know, decent numbers out here in terms of the earthquake activity. A couple different seismograph stations here. That one I just showed you is um, uh, GE.Thera, it looks like. That's going to be one of these stations out here. But man, look at that. That's a mess. You can't even read this seismograph station. There's so many earthquakes showing up on it. It should not look like that. <laughs> Most of the time, you know, seismograph stations are going to be uh, just a line, not littered with lots of earthquakes. But that's just goes to show you how active this area is right now. So we'll continue to check back on it, folks. Um, like I say, there's Escalation going on here in the largest event in the mix, a 5.3 earthquake today, early this morning. As far as the regional area goes, not a whole lot of elevated movement happening outside of that region. Uh, looks like there was a deeper quake north here, well north of the area uh, today. A couple deep earthquakes around Italy and then one way up north of the um, Turkey area but the swarming right there is uh, intensifying also some movement out here across the Atlantic Ocean got uh, some rift boundary activity stirring up looks like a couple fives coming in down south here as well things starting to get uh, a lot more active out here across this area of the globe Japan pretty quiet over here for now nothing major showing up there across the uh, plate boundary uh, movement here, 5.9 from yesterday across the Indonesia Islands area. A couple of newer quakes here today in the white circles around the uh, uh, same region, just a little bit further south from yesterday's event. Not a whole lot happening back over here across this plate boundary. Some minimal activity, but nothing major going on. A little clustering up across the Alaska area with some forest stirring up. Let's see here. What we have, 4.4 .4 early this morning, it looks like. Uh, Seattle, got one earthquake north here, 1.2. Really nothing big going on out here across the west coast for now. Just a couple smaller quakes. Southern California, roughly about the same. Nothing above 2.5 aside from the more recent quake on the Calaveras Fault Zone, that 2.9. Uh, across Wyoming, smaller quake last night. Well south of Yellowstone for that 3.1. Uh, Yellowstone area, looks like they still have a little bit of earthquake activity. So let me run over there, double check it, see what we have. Yeah, it's going to be uh, some of these quakes here, very small earthquakes in the one. I believe all these are below 2.0, but um, a lot of small microquakes showing up there. In the last few days, nothing major going on, though. Rest of the country, no newer activity to report here across Ohio or the eastern portion of the country. Pretty quiet out here today, these earthquakes from yesterday. All right, uh, let me double check the. Yeah, there's man, that's just a mess. I'm telling you, a mess of seismograph or yeah, seismograph mess. Let's check out space weather activity because that's uh, yeah, another story, right? We do have a massive area that's currently facing us. Here's a visible disk of the sun. Pretty obvious. Thirty nine eighty one here is taking the show. Let's go ahead and take a look at the magnetogram. And uh, still quite complex here within this central area of the core of that sunspot. A lot of blue, deeper reds indicating some deep complexity here, magnetically speaking. Uh, so that could 
produce here a potential X flare. I think we'll see a couple more M flares from this area. Uh, not really concerned about <clears throat> any areas back over here today. It looks like it's starting to uh, decay, but uh, yeah, nothing, nothing quite as uh, active as this area. We'll continue to watch 3981 for some flare threats. They've bumped it up here to about 20% chance for an X flare, M flare at 85. And C flare, of course, is going to be around the 100% zone. Uh, a couple more M flares overnight. We're starting to go down now, so we'll see how this plays out. Either way, I think there is a, uh, a shot of seeing an X flare from 3981. Uh, that's pretty much the only area of any major concern. No major severe weather threats out there today. Just some uh, general localized thunderstorm activity out here across California from the low pressure system there delivering us some rainfall. We are expecting the rain to ramp up later tonight. Bring some impressive rainfall accumulation rates there uh, overnight and tomorrow morning. Little break as we head into the day on Wednesday it looks like and then another storm system there to finish off the week. This one's a little bit colder, brings in uh, bringing in a little bit more snow at the higher elevations. After that, uh, well, cold air comes back down a little bit. Uh, really not seeing any major snowfall out here across the area of the south like they were predicting or forecasting here on this model uh, a couple runs back. So that may be good news for the folks that don't want any more snow out there. Uh, California, we got... Uh, that's a little ways out, but it looks like we may return to an active pattern after a couple days break following the um, systems right now that we're seeing. All right, real quick glance here at the Raspberry Shake 4D station. I don't see any uh, major earthquake activity showing up on it right now. Just a little pause, but... You know, this morning's 5.3 is just a sign here of escalation. Nothing uh, major happening yet, but we'll continue to keep an eye on this area because there's been literally thousands of earthquakes here in the last few days, and it's got a little bit of migration going on here southward across this area. So we'll watch that, see if that escalates anymore. All right, uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Got an earthquake down here across the Indonesia Islands area, 4.6. Uh, aside from that, folks, let's see, uh, any major asteroids heading this way? Uh, pretty safe, technically speaking out here. These are, uh, that's a decent sized asteroid, but it's 181 thousand miles from the planet that's somewhat close but uh safely passing us there all these other ones are millions of miles away and that's a good thing all right folks i'm out of here have yourself a good day uh we'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening for the tuesday night update unless something major changes out here i'm definitely continuing to monitor and watch the activity uh, that's happening out there across the sea of crete and the uh, potential volcano or bigger earthquake event that may be in the future here for those folks. Have a good day.